This is Brenda Bentley. She's going to be talking about these buttons are made for walking. My talk is about the gluteus maximus, a very characteristic feature of the human musculatory system. This is a very large and important muscle because it enables us to stand up and to walk. Gluteus is Latin for buttock, and it is cognate with the Greek word for cloud, glautos. And the size, shape, and softness of buttocks and clouds um, <laughs> There are things that I have together, uh, have in common. Um, the human gluteus muscle is big enough and soft enough to sit on, like a pillow. The bony little bottoms of primates, by contrast, have a very insignificant gluteus muscle. The human gluteus, again, due to size and shape, has been the target of many a disciplinary action, and many of our athletes are known to have had strict mothers. We. We like our glutes. We want them to be strong and beautiful, and so we sometimes do what we can to enhance them. But the, the main thing about the glutes is that they get us up off the ground. Instead of, in, <laughs> instead of nosing along horizontally at fender level, like so many other creatures, we are able to walk on two legs vertically. With our heads up in the air, we can see across the landscape, we can hear distant sounds, and um, feel the sun and the breeze on our faces. So let's consider this. The heavy human skeleton is lifted up by a strong band of muscle fibers, which run from the lower back to the big leg bone, the femur. The gluteus maximus is assisted by the glutea me gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus, which lies under it. All three glute muscles stretch across the hip joint. And the, le the, the muscles of the thigh are vertical, but the powerful glute muscle lies diagonally across the top of them. Size correlates with power. Um, the gluteus, the gluteus ma maximus attaches to the midline of the body and to the outside of the thigh, enabling it to dominate the leg. Uh, the full squat shows off the full range of the gluteus maximus muscle, but the glutes are involved with most of our movements. This muscle provides leverage for the whole body. Here is Hercules. He is squeezing the Nimean lion because its hide was too thick to puncture. Herc's glutes are stabilizing his trunk, enabling him to lift, to rotate his pelvis, and to club or throw if necessary. But the primary function of the glutes is to extend the leg away from the body, that is to walk. And this walking action it is, what, is what has so massively developed this muscle. We have walked for thousands of years. Our biggest muscle dictates that we are walkers. Our legs carry us automatically and rhythmically uphill and down and across the world. Um, we are made for walking. We don't have to be taught. Our cells want us to do it, and it's a joy. Walking um, is, uh, <laughs> outdoor walking often gives us the experience of something beautiful or interesting or new or challenging. And when it does, dopamine is released in the brain. And this gives us a sense of delight and satisfaction. Solvitas parambulatorum is Latin for solving problems while walking around. Socrates and many other scientists and artists throughout history have relied on perambulation or taking a good walk to get the creative muses going. Walking outdoors strengthens the whole body and sharpens the mind. This is an efficient activity. Walking can improve both our silhouettes and our synapses at the same time. We walk because it's a joy and our bodies and brains benefit from it. 
all of this puts the bottom line on display, and which is that buns, these buns are made for walking.